All right, let's continue Mr. Bellion here again. Uh, I'm just going to press Command-0, zoom in on the page. Okay, so I want to have fun with this. I'm going to continue with the last lesson, but let's do something interesting. I want to have stripes. I want to have colors in these letters, okay? And um, let's convert this to a shape. Command-Shift-O, done. And remember I said ungroup if you're so inclined. Boom, right afterwards so we can have this letters separate. But I want to do something else right now. I'm going to take my rectangle tool, and I want to get rid of the fill. You can do this with a line too, and I want the stroke to be black. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a rectangle here for, uh, and what I want to do is split up this letter. Okay, and well, it's no longer a letter at this point; it's a shape, right? So if I come over here and let's say I want to have three colors. Okay, so I have this here, and what I want to do is divide things. Okay, I want to have the top of the A and B one color the base here, the middle, sorry, the middle, another color, and the bottom, another color, right? So watch now, at this point, I have one, two, three, four shapes. The A, B is one, a circle, and the two rectangles. Remember my Pathfinder friend, which was, uh, let me just close this and bring it back to you, and I'm going to close it. Bye-bye. Come over here, window. Whenever in doubt, look on the window, guys. You lose something, look on the window. So let's find Pathfinder here. Okay, and this is one of my oldest techniques I love it. So let's divide this, okay? Divide. And remember, after you divide it, I want the objects to be separate as opposed to grouped. Object, ungroup. Sweet. Done. All right, let's bring our sub selection tool or not. Perhaps not. Okay, so let's go in here. Look at that. Hold shift and multi select at this point. Top of the A, top of the B. What color would you like? Let's pick something. Love orange. Ooh, doesn't go well there. All right, that's better. Let's take the base. Hold that. Hold that. And you, my friend, will take you as well. All right, so we'll zoom in here. Uh, actually, I said zoom. Uh, let's do it this way so we can see what's going on, right? This is kind of cool. So you can see the A, B, two parts of it are all selected. Let's change the color quickly to, uh, you can tell my, oh boy, it's not looking that good. Perhaps better. Yeah, well, we'll have to change the red in a minute. Oh, I missed one. Not a worry. Okay, so we'll come over here. I'm going to delete the ones that stick out, okay? So, hang on, let's go with more contrast here. And let's go into the blue zone. Let's see, my friends. Not bad. Come on. There you go. Okay, down here. One, two, and three. All right, so I have that. What color should we make this? Pick any color. Uh, all right, cool. There it is. All right, and now anything outside, I don't need this. Bye bye. Now be careful here, folks. What happens is sometimes the stroke, the thickness of the outline, might affect the interior here. So so far so good. Okay, so that was a little overshoot, but okay. So notice now. Uh, now let's go. Let's change this to something else. I need better contrast here. Yeah, let's have fun. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> My color scheme really is terrible today. So I'm just holding shift, I'm selecting, and now watch, I'm going to use the eyedropper. It should be around here somewhere. And boom, selects the colors. Pretty nice, right? Notice that I also forgot that piece there. We want that to be orange. Where is it? I have no idea. Not a problem. Go to the eyedropper right there. Pick. Sweet. And then done. So at this point, we have this done. Okay, so I may just want to change the middle here to another color. Uh, just gonna come over here. Let's give it the middle something else. It's too close. Yeah. Anyhow, I just made this typeface into separate colors. Okay, so this is one method of doing that. Okay, let's pick a simple one. I'll do it one more time. Let's go to um, whoa. See? Okay. You know where I'm going with this, possibly. Uh, arrow tool. Always get out of your your. Um, Tool. Once you're done, right click, font, get something else. I don't want to go to Arial. America. I love American typewriter. Why is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyhow, so if you wanted to split this up, you know, Command Shift. Oh, it's review time here. And I'm going to simplify my life. Take the line tool quickly here. And just, oops. Uh, it's my, I'm a big fan of the fountain pen. Hold Shift. Click over here. And notice that right now it's a fill, so there's a stroke. Hold that, hold option to duplicate, 
Is that an option? Bingo. Okay, so there they are. It's a line, and anything that intersects in my divide tool will work. Okay, so come over here, object, on group, done. And let's take the top ones, two, three as one color. And let's change this to hot red. <laughs> C at the bottom of the K. Let's change that to blue. Just for fun. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And the center, I'll go to my favorite color, which is orange. Second favorite is blue. And done. Oh, we missed a few, haven't we? Again, eyedropper somewhere down here. And pick. Done. We're good to go. Look at that. All right? So this is the next part. So if you really want to create some interesting things um, with your letters, have fun. And, you know, you guys are creating your initials, logo initials. I think this will work for you. Okay? I think this has been long enough for this lesson. Bellion out. Thank you, and bye-bye.